Why walking away makes you feel superhuman. In this video, I'll reveal why walking away from the wrong person can make you feel almost like a superhero. Welcome to the SCG Show. This video is officially sponsored by BetterHelp. Start your healing now in the description below. Since I was a kid, I've always had a special place in my heart for Superman. No idea why, I just did. I loved what he stood for as a hero, the hope and justice. You rarely saw him get angry. He was always confident with his broad chest, a cheeky smirk, and he would never give up in adversity. And of course he had so many powers, like the ability to fly, laser eyes, ice breath, immense strength, he was almost indestructible. Imagine being and feeling like Superman, feeling like you can just do anything and nothing can defeat you. Well, I personally don't believe walking away is too far behind that specific feeling. In the past, I had a toxic relationship for several years. It was degrading, embarrassing and so upsetting. With that, I was the opposite of superhuman, that's for sure. I felt the weakest I ever did. I had such low energy. I felt the saddest I ever did. I was almost like a zombie. Long story short, I was not at my utmost best. But upon finally breaking free and walking away from that person and relationship, immediately almost everything changed for me. I felt a strength I hadn't felt in years. All my energy had returned. I had a huge smile on my face I was soaring so high in my energy and mental well-being, I was like Superman. I swear to you, I'm not exaggerating when I say this to you. It's how I genuinely felt at the time. It was a very rare, extraordinary feeling. You can feel the same. You can be superhuman like Superman or Superwoman. And it starts by walking away. If you're enjoying this video, please hit the like button and survive walking away with my brand new course. Download it now in the description below. Walking away can be seen as a way of redistributing your energy. By disengaging from a draining or negative person, you conserve your mental and emotional resources, allowing you to redirect that energy to something more positive and productive. In the comics, Superman flies towards the Earth's yellow sun to recharge his powers and energy. This is actually what can happen to you by walking away. There's a guy I used to know personally who whenever I was around him or spoke to him or if I socialized with him, he was just so draining, rude, negative and selfish. He never saw the good in anything or anyone and the longer I was around him, the worse of a man I became. We then became close friends and I found myself later spouting and believing the same nonsense he said to me and other people. Remember, you become who you surround yourself with. Make sure you surround yourself with radiant, genuine, healthy people. He pushed me to my limit. We had a big argument and falling out. I made the decision to walk away from him and certainly to walk away from that friendship. I wish him all the best. I'm sure he's doing fine without me, but my energy almost became restored the second I walked away. It was honestly like a broke and weak Superman dragging himself as close to the rays of Earth's sun as possible, and then slowly and surely regaining his power, all his strength, and it was no surprise after walking away that I actually became the fittest and healthiest, especially mentally, I'd ever been. I also had the most success in my career. I started enjoying my life so much more as well. My energy redistributed itself easily and effortlessly to the right places. After so long, it became, remained and stayed so stagnant around the wrong person. It made me feel superhuman. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you never miss any of my videos. Walking away can be symbolic of shedding the old and embracing the new. As well as Superman, I love Spider-Man. He's a regular guy in his personal life 
and he has a lot of personal problems. From girl problems, school problems, and then job problems, and even financial problems. Plus having the stress and pressure of having to go on and take down supervillains in New York as Spider-Man. The point is, even superhumans have limitations, but they soldier through. They push through because with great power comes great responsibility. When we at first enter a toxic relationship, we are vastly different to when we finally walk away. Me, for example, even though I was unaware at first of the woman I was choosing to date, I was so different to who I am right now. In the past, I was more immature. My priorities were all over the place, not just in the relationship, but my life in general. I was actually superficial. Everything was about looks, money, status, social media. I was concerned about image. There was nothing deep about me at all. And I was very confused. I had no idea what a relationship really entailed. And I managed it and myself atrociously throughout the process. But deep down inside of me, I could feel something was wrong. I had to change. I had to grow. I thought originally I could do that with that toxic person and that relationship. But when enough was finally enough, I walked away. Shedding away the following. My old beliefs, those old mentalities, ideas, philosophies, and of course, people who no longer benefited or gave me anything good to my life. Embracing the new was like putting on a new suit with new abilities and powers and so on, making me feel like a brand new hero, making me feel superhuman. Thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. I've personally used BetterHelp and found it to be so effective for turning my life around for the better. BetterHelp is therapy online, which offers weekly sessions via phone, video and live chat. You get matched with the therapist according to where you are, what you're looking for and what you need help with. If it's not a great fit, you can switch therapists easily. Therapy is a great way to take care of ourselves mentally, just like we try to do so physically through diet and exercise. Online therapy can teach you valuable life coping skills and support you amazingly when tough times occur. So click the link below or visit betterhelp.com forward slash SCG show for 10% off your first month of online therapy today. Go ahead and start your healing now with BetterHelp. Walking away could serve as a sensory reset. Superman has his fortress of solitude. Batman has his Batcave. Spider-Man, to get away from it all, climbs to the top of the Chrysler Building in New York. Again, these different environmental changes play such a massive role in helping us to heal, recover, and once again regain our power and strength which lies within. When I walked away from my toxic relationship, just a few months later, the pandemic hit and it forced me to isolate alone. I stayed at home plenty for way too long and I was really sick, tired and fed up. I had outgrown that environment, the house, the energy and aura. I knew that for me to regain my personal power, I had to make a drastic change. After several frustrating years, I finally did it. I found a home that I loved and I moved there as soon as possible. I love everything about my new place, from the way I've designed and decorated it, the specific location, the local businesses, the transport links, and most of all, the energy coming back to my home was exciting, energizing, rather than how I felt in the previous place I lived in for too long, the dread, anxiety, the memories. Of course, by walking away too, and by staying away, as soon as I settled into my new environment, life attracted to me a brand new partner and relationship. The best partner, the right partner, the healthy partner. There was such power in making those decisions. It really was overall a massive sensory reset for me. And through that reset, it made me feel incredibly superhuman.
Guys, please share your thoughts. Feel free to share your experiences and opinions in the comments section below. Walking away can make you feel superhuman because it's a metaphorical detox. As much as superheroes must be physically strong in their battles for justice and to protect the world, they must also be mentally strong as well. This detox is vitally important and highly advised by myself and many viewers of this channel. When you're trapped deep in a toxic relationship with the wrong person, how do you overly think and feel? You feel so negative, quite scared and afraid, extremely stressed, anxious, you're miserable. That is why when we walk away, we must take time to heal, recover, to have space to ourselves for a good amount of time. Nobody warned me of that when I originally walked away, that it would almost be like a detox of all those arguments, all the pain, frustration, misery of the past relationship. But things heal. Things do get better. That detox, just like even a diet or any form of cleanse, eventually pays dividends. You'll wake up one day a brand new person, a revitalized healthy person, almost like you've been reborn, ready to attack the day with strength courage, wisdom, and power. You'll feel just like I did. You will feel superhuman.